100 jams where hit music lives. We jumping today, feeling the vibes right now, man. D Mac featuring Sting right there, while I could do it my way. And that's exactly how um, our women are today. <laughs> if it ain't their way, it's the highway, fellas. Y'all already know. But right now, it's Chat Trap. It's all about 1130. Let you know what's happening in the media. So, Mr. Meek Mill is finding himself back in the headlines after recording a video where him and Takashi 6 9 possibly almost went to blows outside of a nightclub in Miami. But now again, with Meek Mill's choice of lyrics, he's back in the hot seat. And this time, it's with Kobe Bryant fans. So, as we know, Kobe Bryant did pass away uh, January 2020 in a helicopter crash and in a preview of an upcoming collab with Meek Mill and Lil Baby people are paying very very special attention to Meek Mill words and if and he stated and if I ever lack I'm going out with my chopper it'd be another Kobe so fans found this very insensitive and disrespectful however Meek Mill thinks that listeners are just a bit too sensitive but of course he was making reference you know saying that okay he's like Kobe he's legendary as well and so yeah but I mean Kobe death is still it's it's still big a lot of person are still hurting from it. and I just don't think now is the time maybe two yeah to give it two more years and then say something in reference to it but maybe possibly she'll left that alone but moving on rumors of retirement have been following the phenomenal tennis player Serena Williams and after her loss to the now star player Miss Naomi Osaka Serena seemed quite emotional and she was asked if the gesture meant that she was saying farewell so Serena stated that she doesn't know but if she were to ever say farewell well, if she was to ever retire, she would not tell anyone. Now, as for her documentary, which was stated to be in the works and soon um, would be on Netflix, she seemed very secretive about it and not wanting to share much, which I was honestly geared up and I was super excited to see the Serena Williams uh, Netflix, you know, documentary because it's like, okay, you just want to see basically the start of everyone, especially when you're coming up from the bottom and then you fight so hard, being a black woman that she is, but maybe it's coming soon. Soon. I don't know. I'll keep you up to date. But fingers crossed, hopefully something happens. But Miss Tessica Brown, you probably know her as best as the Gorilla Glue Girl. And you know, when she officially when she first had set up her account on GoFundMe, she'd only ask persons for fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars to help her with the surgery. But she did get um a black doctor, can't really remember the name right now, but he did help her out and she's finally uh, gotten the whole gorilla glue out of her hair. So it's just good to see that 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 is that um, saga is completely done with. But it seems as though she's still running into some issues because um, GoFundMe now is asking her to give them, um, you know, vital information as to what she's going to do with the money. Because she did not get $1,500, but persons actually deposited about $23,000 into her GoFundMe account. So now GoFundMe had froze her account and told her that she has to tell them what she's going to do with the money in order to receive it. Which I think is ridiculous, because I don't think no one helps. Well, I wouldn't know because I haven't had a GoFundMe account, but I don't really hear a person have an issue with um, GoFundMe as to say okay they gotta you gotta tell them what you're gonna do with the money in order because she did say it was fifteen hundred dollars that's all she asked for and then persons just placed extra but a lot of persons are saying that it is a fraud which at this point you can see that it wasn't but I don't know hopefully things change out but I did see a lot of other persons started using the Gorilla Glue to go viral as well which is just ridiculous people would do anything these days but just before we end chat trap I've got to let you know what's happening at the front page of the Tribune so now the Deputy Prime Minister yesterday voiced optimism that water and sewage customers are prepared for price increases as he hinted they will no longer receive their first 3,000 gallons for free and Desmond Bannister who as Minister of works also has responsibility for the corporation said the government has little choice but to drag the water utility into the 21st century following the economic blowouts inflicted by COVID-19 and Hurricane Dorian oh boy it looks like we got more trouble coming our way but pick up a pick up a copy of the Tribune and check out that one because listen I don't know it's not like the brush is really really getting tall right now but that's it for chat trap letting you know what's happening in the media about to jump back into the mix got her right here with damage